Hey, how's it? I'm Dan. I'm a retro gamer. And even though I'm not a huge sports fan by any means, I love sports movies and I love sports games. And as a kid, my favorite sports game to play was NBA Jam by far. There was just something about it. So as usual, this isn't gonna be a review or playthrough or anything like that. I'm just gonna play for a little bit, have some fun, see what nostalgia bubbles up and see if I can even play it anymore at this point. So I moved around a lot as a kid and I didn't really have any particular loyalties to any one team over another really, except for the fact that I grew up in Buffalo during those four consecutive years that the Bills went to the Super Bowl and I think they played like the Cowboys and the Giants and they lost four years in a row. That was my four main years of elementary school in Buffalo. Needless to say, that's probably one reason that I'm not big into sports right now because I was just too crushed as a child. But my mom partially grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. We would go visit a lot and I was familiar with the Phoenix Suns, so when it came to NBA Jam, that was the team that I would play. Mostly because it was the only one that I was familiar with, you know, and some of the star players on the team in those mid-90s era. So let's see if I remember how to actually play. Oh, that's right, you got computer assist, and then I think there's a setting where you can play as, you can just switch off players, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna, okay, let's see if I can just dribble straight on the court and make a shot. Oh, that was a pass. <laughs> oh, but you can make the other guy shoot. Okay. Okay. All right. I got this. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. All right. So which, what's pass? That's pass. And that shoot. Got it. No. Don't got it. But I'm getting it. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, I, I could spend hours and hours playing this game as a kid. I don't know what it was about it. Just really enjoyed it. Also the two on two thing. I've played a lot of uh, games, you know, oh, that was passed. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I've played a lot of games since, you know, like Madden and um, NHL games and lots of stuff like that, especially with the kids. Yeah. Can I get a boom shakalaka? But, um, one thing that I find like particularly, and again, like if you've watched any of my videos so far, you know that I'm like super basic when it comes to this kind of stuff. And uh, playing playing with like you know a full roster of players, like a, in a football or hockey or soccer game or something, or even a basketball game, it's just like it's so much going on. It's just really confusing. Hey, I think I need to get a three pointer in here. I think I need to be on fire. Ah. Ah, uh, come on, no fouls. Let's go, let's go. What is this, street ball? Guys, we're embarrassing ourselves. Come on, guys, come on. Look, we can do this. All you have to do is press the right button, and I, which I keep, <laughs> keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, but I got a rebound. Uh oh, watch out, watch out. Thank you. I just, just once I wanna see the net or the backboard break. Now to my credit, I did play on a basketball league when I was in eighth grade, and I got a story there. Ooh. Oh, but I forgot. Wow, halftime already, huh? I forgot though, the uh, point I was making before was that um, games that are more representative of like real sports, <laughs> professional sports with all the players and all the, the rules and the fouls and the goals, the technicalities and everything, it's out of my realm of comprehension, understanding, or even caring. So I think that's one thing that drew me to this was that I like basketball, but when it came to playing the game, I thought it was much more uh, easy to wrap my head around the two on two kind of thing. It's like you're either passing or you're shooting or you're blocking or you're trying to get a rebound. Like that, oh thank you. I mean, maybe that's why playing team sports, too, was never um, my, my cup of tea. Like, as a kid, I played soccer from about, I think, um, second to seventh grade. Yeah. Come on, guys. We're catching up. Let's do this. Um, and I remember at one point, our team was called the Undertakers because the kids got to vote on a name. Okay, now that's how you play basketball, folks. Thank you. And I remember the parents were really discouraged. They were like, we don't want to be associated with a team called the Undertakers. The kids thought it was funny, though. 
Uh, I don't really remember much about those days because um, my head was in the clouds and I was spending more time thinking about like doing this or Final Fantasy or playing with Legos or something. But for some reason, I played soccer for a long time in uh, elementary school, middle school. Pass the ball, shoot the ball. That, no! Pa shoot. Shoot. Shoot that. Ooh, come on. But um, after my soccer career came to its triumphant close, I guess, all I remember really from soccer was that, and I, of course I played defense because I didn't have the motivation to try to play offense or score goals. So I was usually just kind of, you know, kicking grass and waiting for the ball to come when I was playing soccer. But um, I do remember that I think we would generally lose most of our season games, but then when it came to like playoffs and championships, we'd get our act together and win something. I don't know if we would make it all the way or what, but I, I do remember that being a thing. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Well, that was going to be cool until it didn't happen. All right, come on. Got one more quarter here, guys. We can do this. We can do this. Yes. Yes. If you just press the right buttons, that's how you play basketball. Despite... <gasps> We're catching up, guys. Come on. Let's get another one in there. Probably on easy mode, aren't I? Oh, thank you. No, I didn't... Uh... Yep, see, that's what it was. Press the wrong button. Okay, okay. We're almost there. We just gotta keep keep this streak going. Ah. I remember, was it the arcade version or something? Or maybe it was this and I'm just doing it wrong, but you could like switch between players. Like you would, ah, oh, dang it. You would pass to your... <gasps> I got my three pointer. You could like chain, you would pass to yourself and or you pass the other player and then you could switch control to that player. But I guess right now I'm only playing the computer. Oh, ah, mm. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, dear me. I don't like the cut of your jib, sir. Uh oh, did I, am I traveling? Almost, oh, oh. So anyway, my story with playing before this quarter's up my story with playing um basketball in eighth grade was that it was the same kind of thing like we weren't doing very well i was playing on a team with my friends my friend's dad was coaching had a lot of fun but goaltending dang come on guys but it, oh no no uh anyway but there was one kid on our team that was really, really good at layups. And so basically our whole strategy every game was to get the ball to him so he could do a layup because as far as I know, as far as I remember, none of us uh, were really um, consistently accurate with our shots. Definitely not me. And it, we were at our like, you know, championship game or whatever. Oh, guys, no, no, we can do this. We can do this. Just let's go into some overtime here. Did we do it? Oh, no. Yes. Overtime? Yeah! Okay. It gives me more time to finish my story. So we were in our, our championship game. We were, I think it was one of those, you know, like classic neck and neck kind of games. It was just, you know, uh, we, we, were, we were mostly tied or like, you know, up or down by a point or two for the whole game. And then it came to the end of the game. And I think we were like, I want to say a point ahead. And we were so sure that we were gonna win, at least our um, star player was. And, oh, come on! See, that's why you gotta pass, instead of dribbling so much. Yes! Okay, pass, dribble, dribble. Dri <laughs> pass the ball, shoot the ball. Okay. How do you do the thing where you're like, he's on fire, and they break the backboard? Is that in this version? I can never remember things. It's been too long. So anyway, it was like, you know, it was one of those on the buzzer shots. Like the, the, I remember our, our layup player was, um, kind of, I don't know, showing off for the crowd. He was doing something, getting them hyped up. Oh, guys. All right, look, I'm just going to take it straight down the middle and I'm going to pass it because I hit the wrong button yet again. Okay. That's okay. We can get that back. Oh, oh, three pointer. Okay, okay. Just gotta stay in there. Oh, shoot. Get him, get him. 
Get it. And that is how you do. Oh, just gotta stay in the lead. Just gotta stay in the lead. Oh, boo, shaka laka. I didn't even know I had the ball. Ah, I'm not cut out for this sport. Oh man, after all that. Okay, well let's go for another three. What do you say? Shoot that. Shoot that oop. Yeah. Oh, well, this guy's good at threes. Anyway, so I guess we didn't realize that the other team had the ball or something was going on. And at like at the buzzer, they scored a layup of their own or, you know, whatever the two pointer was that, that they shot from. And it was it was one of those. I just remember my coach like jumped up up in the air at the buzzer to like celebrate and it went through and he came down on the ground stomping his feet. It was just like one of those like epic classic sports moments of not victory and I was pretty dejected and that might be one reason I didn't go on to play basketball again after that but that's about as far as I'm gonna go with NBA Jam today. I lost but not spectacularly. I did better than I thought I would with a little bit more practice and time dedicated and remembering which button does what I'm sure I would do a lot better. Absolutely. But for now let's just uh we're gonna call this an indefinite hiatus on my NBA Jam days. And in the meantime, I'll see you on whatever I play next.